Please don't fall off. Hold on, hold on. Zoom out. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to episode 29 of which automation car can jump the farthest. On car jump arena. I have a bunch of awesome stuff to show you guys today. This series has been getting increasingly weird. Um, so I tried to get a, a few more, I, I don't know how to say normal uh, vehicles in this episode, but there's still some weird stuff for sure. You're not going to want to miss it. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. All righty. So first up, we have an absolute beaut, a Ford GT40, I believe is the name of this absolute masterpiece and this thing looks pretty darn good as well i must say look at the lines on this they don't make cars like this uh very often anymore that's for sure all righty let's get into the driver's seat i'm expecting this thing to go pretty darn far very very fast car so i'm expecting the best and just look at the shape of this thing man it's meant to fly i mean <laughs> not really but it's meant to go fast so hopefully that'll translate into flying very far the car jump arena how much would this car be worth millions of dollars probably i'm sure yes nearly 400 that is pretty darn good we're gonna roll we absolutely destroyed this thing <laughs> and we're gonna dunk ourselves right into the deep end there absolutely beautiful let's do it one more time one more time i think i think the shape of this thing actually helped it not uh, go flying off into the distance. I feel like it was definitely being pushed down quite a bit. There we go. Yeah, you can see the front end goes right down into almost a perfect front flip. <laughs> I feel like I think we got a little closer to 400 that time. But uh, yeah, oh man. Not a bad launch. Not bad for the first vehicle of the day. Uh, but let's see. I think we're, I think there's a few here that might make it past the pool completely. So <laughs> let's move on, shall we? Hey, you guys remember when I said it, I was going to try to get <laughs> not as weird vehicles? Well, you know, that, that was kind of a lie. This isn't a vehicle at all. It is a Mac Pro. <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me hold on. Let me check the name just to make sure I got this right. Yes, a Apple Mac Pro, $53,000. $53,799. Um what <laughs> why 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 is this the thing in uh automation i feel like i say that a lot so honestly i'm not uh i'm not too surprised to be completely honest so it's a computer <laughs> you know there's been rumors for a long time that apple's gonna make a car would this be what it looks like and would it be fifty three thousand dollars i don't know <laughs> but here we go it's pretty quick 185 miles an hour and that's gonna get us past the 400 mark, past the 450, nearly to the 500 mark. Imagine this, we have an, a legendary vehicle, the Ford GT40, <laughs> and it gets passed up by a Apple Mac Pro, $53,799 edition. That's, uh, yeah, that's a little strange. What's the aerodynamics on this thing like? Anyway, I have, no idea how this is even working right now. I, I, I What's inside the towers? Is there, is there a graphics card in here? I'm assuming not. Is there like a CPU? Is there anything in here? <laughs> no, it's empty. <laughs> There's the engine though. Uh, can you download more RAM onto this? Is that, is that a thing you could do? <laughs> well, it's not $53,000 anymore. I uh, will tell you that right now. Okay, uh, let's get a little less weird now. Um, we're gonna go old school, very, very old school. We got a 1905 Duroc 200 horsepower. This looks very interesting. Is this gonna mean it's quick? Like very quick? I mean, 200 horsepower on this thing seems like a lot. Does it, does it not? But uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems pretty fast, especially for what it is, how old it is. Let's see what she can do. A hundred miles an hour, yes! 
132. Can we hit 140? Give me 140. No, we're gonna hit 134 though. That's that's not bad. Past the 200 mark, yes. And we're still in pretty good shape. We're still cruising. We're, we're, uh oh, we're coming in hot. <laughs> oh, no. Another one into the deep end. Oh man, yeah, very, very. That's pretty quick. That's pretty far for a, a, a car well over a hundred years old. That is pretty impressive. <laughs> it's got two seaters. Well, where do you put your feet though? Kind of hang them down here. That doesn't seem very safe. There's no floor. I guess it doesn't matter though, because it, it, all the it's stripped down for speed, baby. Okay, uh, so this is another kind of weird one. The auto rickshaw tuk tuk. <laughs> I remember these when I think of Tuk Tuk, I think of like Just Cause 2. I don't know why that you could drive those in that game. So yeah, th this is this is definitely one of those. I don't expect this to be super fast. <laughs> I don't expect it to be fast though. And it's not. It's not. So is this categorized as a motorcycle or a vehicle? Because it has the handlebar. But it also has four tires. Maybe it's like you know those things, those uh what are they called? Um, oh man, now it's going to bother me. You can drive them on the street and they have, they have like a cockpit and like seats, but they, you have to have a motorcycle, uh, license to drive them. Is it, is it like the same thing as that? Oh God. <laughs> I remembered what, what I was trying to think of. It's called a sl like a Polaris slingshot. Can we get one of those on the screen? Is that like the same thing as this? Because like for that thing, you need like a motorcycle license. I'm wondering if you need one to drive one of these. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, there's the Tuk Tuk. Cute little car, huh? Slash motorcycle, maybe. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, 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 why do we spawn over here, fella? Um, yeah, so <laughs> I, I, I definitely lied what I said. Uh, <laughs> this was going to be a less weird episode. This might be the biggest engine we've seen so far. My goodness. All right, let's, let's try to get this back up on the actual ramp. I don't know why it spawned up there, but oh God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it spawned up there. Can we stop breaking, please? Stuff just falls off. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Spawn on the road. There we go. What in the heck is this? Oh wait, it looks different now. Wait, it, it, <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, that's down there. Zoom out. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah, I'd, I'd say this is the biggest engine we've seen so far by a long shot. My goodness. What was the name of this thing? Hold on. <laughs> the Falcon Pipe Wing XTR. You know, that's honestly a somewhat normal name for, for this monstrosity. Uh, <laughs> um, should we drive it? I got to ha like have the camera all the way back here if we want to see all of this thing. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping it's not top heavy. It, it's top heavy. Oh, there it goes. No, we lost more than half of the engine. <laughs> it's going 200 miles an hour, though. You can barely hear the engine from down from up here, but there we go nearly to the 500 mark. There goes the rest of the engine off into the distance. What is happening in, in, in PMNG automation, man? <sighs> oh my God. It's, 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 it's just getting out. I, I'm, I'm, I don't have the words to describe stuff like this anymore in this game. I, I'm running out of stuff, but still, this it was a shock seeing this. The, like, we've seen big, massive, but this is on a whole other level. When will it end? What's the end game for giant engines in automation? Like, just the entire screen is engine. That's probably what we're going to get to at some point. Let's see. Look at the pipes as well. It's like an organ. Like a pipe organ. I don't even... <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's got the speed. There we go. 226 miles an hour. <laughs> and that's how we laid on the 500 mark. Not bad at all. Where's the other engine parts? Where'd they go? I don't even know. They probably just face through the ground or something. Who knows? But yeah, that is ridiculous. I love it.
Okay, back to relatively normal vehicles. <laughs> relatively. This thing is called the little thing that I don't know what to name. That's literally what it's called. But supposedly, it's uh, it's pretty powerful. It's packing a punch under this uh, little exterior. So let's see what she can do. <laughs> yeah! Oh, this is very fast, actually. A hundred and... F oh, wow. We might hit 200 in this thing. 176. That's pretty close. <laughs> oh, no. Past the 300, past the 350 mark, and we're gonna roll. I, I, I think, yep. <laughs> it's, it's all, it's already spherical, but uh, there we go. Wow. Let's do that one more time. How many people can you fit in this? It almost looks like it has a back seat, but uh, yeah, the shape, <laughs> very, very peculiar shape. I don't, I don't know what to, what to call this shape. But uh, it flies through the air pretty darn good. There we go. It just immediately starts tumbling. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get back in the pool. No. We bounced out that time. How much? I, I don't know if I would fit in this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm probably too big. But, uh, you know, if somebody wants to make this in real life, I'd love to see it. Love to see it. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another car from the legendary Anarchy Motorsports. This is the Barracuda. And my God, this looks like a, a Batmobile. <laughs> it really does. Look at this. Uh, V12 engine, of course. Uh, no windscreen. That's, that's a strange choice. So you're going to be eating some bugs if you're driving this thing. But if you have this thing, I'm sure you don't mind. But uh, it's even got the symbol on the seats. This thing is beautiful. Interior, beautiful as well. And uh, very rare in modern supercars, this is a stick shift, which I don't know. I, I dig that. I dig that. Let's see what this thing can do. I'm expecting this thing to go pretty darn fast. Got the V12. Very aerodynamic. And yes, it is pr indeed pretty quick. 140. 160. 180 yes about 180 miles an hour there we go which will get us well past the 400 past the 450 mark oh there we go and dip right into the pool oh this uh this thing is the engine's mounted in the front uh, for some reason uh, i feel like this would have been in the back but no we got the long front end here to accompany uh that v12 engine let's do this one more time there we go. There we go. We're definitely eating some bugs <laughs> with this thing. Oh my goodness. And yes, another beautiful launch. Oh, we are really up there now. Ooh, took it like a champ too. Only a few pieces flying off. <laughs> and again, a nice dunk in the pool. The Anarchy Barracuda. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Oh, buddy, I was excited for this one. The Trahano Typhoon GT 3000 Hypersport. Oh, my God. Look at the value on that. A billion dollars. That's how much this car costs. A billion dollars. Let's see. Let's see if it's worth. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm getting a lot of um, I'm getting a lot of McLaren Sienna vibes here, at least from the back. But my goodness, what a machine this is. It sounds good. We'll see how fast it'll go. Oh my God, 200 miles an hour, easily. 260 miles an hour, I believe, is what we left. Uh, and past the 500, the first of the day, exploding into a million pieces. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was insane. Let's do it again, shall we? Wait, no, there's, a, there's an interior on this one as well. Let's take a peek. See, we got, oh, the orange, man. That is loud uh, for sure, but it does look good. We got the five pi exhaust pipes, because why not? <laughs> this is incredibly fast, and you know what? We're going to have to do it again because, I mean, it's fun watching this thing explode, but we're going to have to do it because I just noticed this thing has NOS. So we got to enable that, see how much more distance. We land right after the uh, 500 mark. So let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, that's unstable. 300 miles an hour. <laughs> we somehow, what? We somehow come up shorter. My goodness. 
That was almost uncontrollable. The NOS was putting in work on this one. Hold on, let's try that again. We gotta feather that in. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, that was a little better. Oh my goodness! Oh, just right before the sand. Oh God, this thing is destroyed. A billion dollars down the drain right there. <laughs> That, that NOS was more like a rocket booster. What the heck, man? But yeah, I think we landed right about uh, right about here. So right before getting to the sand. Absolutely insane. All righty, so this isn't a car at all. This is straight up a plane. This is the ultralight. Um, let me see if I can remember the controls. I believe it was T. Oh, not T. E? Yeah, there we go. T, okay. T is to... Wait, how do I pull up? Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. It's a flying machine. I need to tilt. There we go. So this should easily get us past the pool. Oh my God. This is, this is awesome. Look at us soaring, man. Beautiful. Can we get over the mountains? That's a good question. Let's see. We'll turn on the boosters. Is there a speed limit? I don't know, but uh, let's see. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, we broke it off. No, oh, we're gonna crash into the mountains. Uh oh, this might be a long way down unless we get perched up here, but it's not looking good. Never mind, we're stopped. Hey, that's you know, if you walk away from a landing, that is a successful landing. So hopefully, we walked away from that, but uh, let's try that one more time. There we go. Just pull up immediately. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. I, I, I don't quite have the controls down yet, guys. So forgive me. There we go. I want to see if I can aim in the pool. I feel like we can do it. I'm not even going to uh, leave the, uh, the rockets on anymore. I don't need them. We can just kind of guide, glide ourselves into the pool. There we go. This is looking good. This is looking very good. And landing. Beautiful. Oh, it broke the game. Take it. <laughs> it doesn't like the water, apparently. Well, okay. okay. Noted. But you know what? Uh, it still works, so that's okay. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Uh, automation still delivering, still getting absolutely crazier every episode. I think... What <laughs> What did we see today? The world's biggest engine, a flying machine. Uh, we got ultra billion dollar hypercars. Uh, we got it all, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let's let's come in for a smooth and safe landing to uh, to guide us out today. There we go. There we go. There. Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. So, oh, can we start the needle? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, buddy. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.